Number 11 on the Notre Dame's top 25 most important players for the 2020 season, a list here at blueandgold.com is offensive tackle Robert Hainsey um, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the, by the way, of IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. This is a guy who played a lot of football as a freshman back in 2017, started all 13 games in 2018, and then, of course, um, was a key part of the Notre Dame offensive line last year before suffering that injury against Virginia Tech. And he was actually the Notre Dame offensive lineman of the year um, in 2019. So Robert Hainsey comes in at 11. He's our fourth offensive lineman on this list and the first tackle. Um, we'll, we'll see if Liam Meikenberg makes it. But um, Patrick, you know, Hainsey checking in at 11. What, were, what was your reaction when you when you put together the poll, because of course five of us at, at Blue and Gold put this, um, you know, since you are rankings, you put it together. When you saw Hainsey at 11, what was your reaction? It made a lot of sense to me. I had him in my personal top 10, and I've said the same thing about the guards, and I guess to an extent, Jared Patterson at center as well. But if the offensive line is this good, and at least as good as all of the offseason buzz around it about it being one of the best units in the country, you got to have multiple members if not all of the members on right just because that line in a sense is important to whatever offensive success Notre Dame would have if indeed it's as good as we all kind of think it will be and certainly in that sense Haynes he's a tackle you want to have two good tackle and I know he's the right tackle in the sense and everybody has not quite the allure of the the left side and everything but you need a good second guy on the edge uh, and certainly given Notre Dame's running back room being an unknown and especially with its less, at least last year with Tony Jones's ability more as an inside runner and not as much of a guy who can bounce it outside and, and really make plays on the edge. You want to have good blockers out there to create as much space for uh, running backs as possible, even though of course Jones won't be a part of that group, but it's yeah all about uh, being productive in both areas, which Haynes he is. He only allowed eight pressures in nine games before he got hurt against Virginia tech certainly not an elite prospect in a sense and a little on the light side at 295 pounds, but he's a reliable starter. He will, assuming uh, the season is played and he starts, will have had starts in all four seasons and certainly a, a player who if you, you can't discount the experience and you know, given where Notre Dame's running back room stands, like I said, you, it's important to have two good tackles that can really clear the way. I certainly agree that Hainsey could be someone you, you look at top 10 of this list. I mean, if you took him off the team um, and, and Notre Dame doesn't have Hainsey, what, where, where would the fighting Irish go from there? Cause that's a big part of, of this list. When we put it together, it's, it's most important, most valuable. If this person wasn't there, what, what would it look like? Yeah, definitely. Notre Dame has a placement and ready in a sense in, in Josh Lug, who saw some time in replacing Hainsey last year after Hainsey was right. hurt. And so a, a little bit there of capping the, the ranking in that sense. And I think why it's ultimately fair, he's not in the top 10, but nonetheless, this is, you, like I said, you can't really discount the experience and, you know, overall, you know, lack of glaring weaknesses as a pass protector and a run blocker. I think that definitely has to count for something. And ultimately, this is a guy who's probably going to end up as a draft pick at some point, if not you know, signing an undrafted free agent contract. Uh, it's not like you just look at him now and say he has no professional future or anything. So certainly that has, you know, has to count for something as far as when you take that away. So I think it's absolutely makes sense where he landed about where he did.